Kucu. Ông chúng tôi chụp đẹp và cả to cái chấm đại ca này thì thì sẵn là cả chia bản tổ này cứ cái chấm đại ca việt sát đánh đầu sát xây đại đồng tổ đại cầm bây giờ vì các việc đây lục yên sĩ ไอ้มันนั่งดอลวิธีการตัวสมัยลูกเรียกจะกรอมสิบกระไรมีการจับรอมเป็นปอนด์หนึ่งหนึ่งแล้ววิธีสร้างนกการตั้งตรงประเด็นดอลสมเด็จลูกเรียกจะกรอมขอบคุณประธานจะกรอมสมเด็จลูกเรียกจะกรอมmisunderstood this morning when uh, the president uh, commented on the manner in which you, Mr. Carnivas, was questioning this witness. Uh, the chamber wishes to make it clear that you are entitled to ask probing and challenging questions. Indeed, it's your duty to do so. Uh, but uh, the concern that the uh, trial chamber has is that as a group of professional judges there's no need to uh, use the sort of emotion that sometimes we see on American television dramas. Uh, there's no need for that in the courtroom and we would appreciate it if you would bear that in mind. Thank you. Thank you, Judge Cartwright. I don't think I was being melodramatic, though. <laughs> um, okay, uh, sir, if we could continue where we were. And, uh, if we could turn to E1 slash 70.1. This is the transcript from So Hong's testimony on 30th of April, uh, 2012, and we will start with Khmer ERN number 00804559, English 00806503, and French 00806387. That's where I will start, and we will go for the next few pages. So let me begin. On line 22nd, this will be on page 16. The, the question is, now, you told us that Pong would come and go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He would bring people and take them away as he wished. Do you still stand by that? Answer by So Hong. Yes, I do. I'm continuing. You also told us that Comrade Chiam facilitated or assisted in transporting some individuals that were, that had come to the MFA through Pong and he would transport them and deliver them someplace else. Do you stand by that? Answer by So Hong. Yes, I do. Question. Do you know whether at that time Comrade Chiam was still working for or attached to Hong's security apparatus? Answer. Yes, I do. Question. All right. So I want to be clear because perhaps my question wasn't clear. Was Chiam working under the authority of Pong while he was under your authority at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? 
answer by So Hong. Yes, Pang was above Chiem. Question. Well, I'm not asking about the hierarchy, but I'm asking you, sir, is this. You've told us that Chiem worked for Pong at one point. You've told us that when Pong would come into the MFA, Chiem would assist him. And now, my question is, while Comrade Chiem was at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and although he was your subordinate, was his superior still Pong, at least when it came to security matters? Answer, Pong was still his superior. Question. And would that explain why you've told us that on one occasion, you even asked Comrade Chiem if your turn would come next. Do you recall last Thursday when you said, and I'm quoting here, it's on page 16, and I'll go to the quote, I knew that Chiem took those people away. I did ask Chiem about it. That is, were those people where those people were taken to. And I said, could it be me next? And I go further down, same page. This will be in Khmer, by the way, 00804561, English 00806505, in French 00806505. 6389891. When Pong asked Chiem to take people from the MFA, Chiem came and took those people, to, to, to those people out. When Chiem returned, I asked him, with my fear, where those people were taken to. And he told me that those people were taken to from him further and he did not know where they so were taken to, to ultimately. ultimately. And I go and further down, uh, on the same answer, he says, so I thought to myself, if that continued to happen that way, one day there could be my turn. That is what I meant. Further down on the same page, he says, my feeling at the time Push me to say that I invite you to consider whether I was serious at the time, but I was, at, I was being frank. I asked, I, I said, I said it that way because I did not want to be perceived that I was threatening Chiem for him to answer to my question. So I said it that way. Well, one day it could be my turn. That meant. I was being cautious at the time. And then if we go to Khmer 00804563, English 00806508, and then French 00806965, uh, I mean, 6393. Part of his answer is, and my talk with Chiem, as I said, was done very cautiously. If I was spotted talking to Chiem, or to be close with Chiem, when he was executing the orders from Paul, I could be in danger. So people around, around me might have the feeling that I had something to do with Pong or whether I was connected to the fact that people were taken out by Chiem. So I thought about all these things and I was worried. Let me ask you, witness. Was So Hong correct? When he said that while you were at 
the foreign ministry, you were still under Pong when it came to security matters. That, that he was still your superior. ចាប់ពីខ្ញុំមកនោះក៏សួងការបល់ទេគឺមេទី ខ្ញុំមិនដឹងមិនតែប៉ុន្តែណាតាមគាត់អានមិញ ប្រតាប់ពីហងគឺជាមឯងហើយអញ្ចឹងតែមានឯងយើងធ្វើការតិណៈតណងគ្នាปองนั้นໂດຍຍັງ and in your statement, did you ever say anything about any lists of names that were provided to you by Mr. Ing Shri? Or are you just saying this for the very first time? Because uh, you've given a couple of statements, and there's nothing in your statements about that. ដំណើរដំណើរសហព្រះញ្ញាជាមុនទិនសូមជួយដំណើរសហព្រះញ្ញា Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the answer I heard, he indicated that Ing Suri had uh, decided on people. I didn't hear uh, about lists. Perhaps I, perhaps I missed that. Um, but uh, more to the point, um, Mr. Carnivus wishes to ask him or show him a part of his prior statement that he believes is inconsistent. He can do that. I think it's an improper question to ask a witness uh, to try to remember everything that he said. Uh, in the two days of, of uh, the two prior interviews. So uh, on those two bases, we object to the question. Uh, Mr. President, I can't show him something that's not there. That's the point. For the very first time, the gentleman is making this assertion, and I can understand why he's making it. So for me to show him his statements would not assist. I can rephrase, however. I'll rephrase the question. បានជឿញបន្ទាន់ជាលោករៀបចំទម្រួសាជាថ្មីអឺពួកសម្រួមមិញនេះមានការចំទោសហើយយើងមិនបាច់ជាសម្រេចលើសេចក្តីចំទ
Witness, is your testimony today under oath that So Hong is incorrect when he stated, quote, while Comrade Chiam was at the foreign minister was, was was at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and although he was your subordinate, was his superior still? Pong, at least when it came to, to security matters, and when So Hong says, Pong was still your superior. Are you claiming here today under oath that that's an incorrect statement? Mr. President, I'm sorry. I, I regret that I have to be getting on my feet repeatedly, but that's the exact same question he just asked. It's repetitive. It is not the exact uh, uh, question. I want a clear answer. Was Pong still his superior? Yesterday, the gentleman unequivocally said he had nothing to do with security matters. Today, he's come in with a slightly different answer. And I read that part to him yesterday. Now, earlier today, he said that yesterday, he had problems with his memory, which is why he could not remember from two years ago an entire interview that he conducted. Today he tells us that he's feeling much better. He had good sleep. He's fresh. So today he's being given the opportunity to answer the question. At this point, uh, Mr. Mr. President, Your Honors, I'd like to look at E3 slash 461. This is a statement by TCW 694 given on 17 December 2007, wherein the witness, TCW 694, says that P. Poon was chairman of the security section. May I, may the statement be shown to the gentleman to see whether he identifies without disclosing who the name is of TCW 694.
ពន្តែសមអ្វីមេត្តវីផ្ដល់នៅឈ្មោះសមសៈស័យដែលលោកមានបំណងเอ่อគូបំណងនៃការសួរនឹងពាក់ព័ន្ធនឹងឈ្មោះអីដើម្បីឲ្យគាត់តើគាត់អាចចាំបានទេអឺប្រតិហេតុដែលកើតឡើង
it should be on the second page for everyone of this particular uh, statement. Uh, it says here, and I'll quote, at that time, the foreign ministry was called B1. Mr. Ingshri was chairman. There was a general secretary and office chairman, So Hong. The office was divided into a security section with P. Pun, alias Chiam, as chairman. Madam Sao Se was chairperson of the general secretariat chairperson of protocol section and secretary of the party branch. The general political section had Ing Sri himself as the chairman and in it were a number of intellectuals like Ok Sokun, Mr. Chun Praseth, and Mr. Keet Chun and others. Would you agree with the characterization of you being the chairman of the security section? ដោយខ្ញុំបានប្រជាបន្តបន្ទាប់ហើយគឺក្នុងក្រសួងដឹងគឺថាតែបកលិកដែលខ្ញុំគ្រប់គ្រងហ្នឹងគឺខ្ញ
Apologies, I, I thought we had a copy of this already prepared. It's my so much my error. Like, you know, my God, dream, I guess, any more known how I so much is like thinking you know, so many other like Sunny. Uh, sir, do you recognize the name of the individual without telling us who the, who the person is? Do you recognize the name? Should be on the front page. Uh, very well. In light of that answer, Your Honor, I won't pursue the question. Thank you very much. Uh, now let me turn to document uh, E319. Uh, this is an excerpt from uh, Philip Short's book, Paul Pot, The History of a Nightmare. Uh, sir, you've indicated to us before, and it was shown to you by the prosecutor, uh, that you gave interview statements to Philip Short. Do you recall that? But you will recall from a few days ago that the prosecutor showed you some quotes that are in this particular book that are attributed to you from an interview or a set of interviews that he conducted with you. Do you recall that? Right. Well, let me ask you this. 
Do you recall giving an interview to someone a few years back who was in the process? He's a, Brit a British journalist by the name of Philip Short. ຈົ່ມພົວຊມໃນຊມໂດຍໂດຍກອດນັ້ນຄືຖ້າມໍຈົມພຽມມຸນເກມຸນເກຕັ້ງອ້ອບໍ່ກ້ອຍມັນປີ
Mount 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 là từ đây bà tây nó thì bàn chun cua thì bàn chạm right now Philip Short in his book and this would be on page three ninety four we don't have a Khmer air number but the English air number is zero zero three nine six six zero two the French zero zero six three nine nine seven zero and the document again for the record is E three slash nine says that you arrived that you uh, Pol Pot's Pol's <laughs> former aide, P. Poon, now head of security at the foreign ministry, arrived with a group of guards and broke down the door. Do you recall describing to Philip Short this event that you had arrived at the scene with a group of guards? in your capacity as head of security at the foreign ministry. ກະຫຼາຍກອດສະນະດາວນັ້ນແຕ່ຫນັງຄືຖ້າມີນະອໍາລາພຍົກຍົມ <coughs> Bộ phía cái này đã có thể đến đó có xuống về chứng ngại đây Chọn thầm một cái lô chiếc này hay giúp tiết Đó nó Khi em này đã tăng rương nó Khi thà bọn xa hông có tàu đáy Hay khi em có tàu đáy Hay bắt đầu bắt đầy bọn phải xích có tàu đáy Tàu nó bình tên tàu tàu đáy nó bình tên tàu Ở miền cổ bình nào nó biết là bấy nha anh đi Nhìn này khi em bọn xa hông nó bọn phải xích ตาวนั่งให้มีบางทุกกระทรวงไปได้ที่เขียนว่าจำปัญญาจำสำคัญใบเนี่ยนั่งเขียนตัวดอลนั่งตัวดอลนั่งทวีตแบบจิตตึง
cho tập mơ từng học thì bao sức cả khơi bao sơ hóng cả khơi khơi bay nẹt tập bóng tập bóng đã bay nẹt đang anh hay dù thiê đại là diêm cái nắng cà phê mà nước ngọt nó đôi chưa bị bay nẹt còn đâu nâng đài à nâng cái protaka nâng hay bay còn chấm phe khiếm chấm ban dây riêng nâng khiếm ban dây prap quạt như thay riêng nâng khiếm sâu cái đài nữa hay biết ăn về riêng là còn hai tăng về nông mà đo này đi riêng nâng cứ sớm cho sớm lang nó bia mình lít chia chia protaka dạng mạch bia mình đang nghề dạng mạch bà về cho đường này du thia đó bị thay lạnh say đó mấy vị tôi bánh thì nhiều hay vì mình bánh nari đó vì bánh đó bánh bò rò hình chè này chuẩn bị riêng nước thêm cho con bạch chạt hạ riêng nước thêm ban ban chua ban dây man còn chuẩn bị quạt này chuẩn bị nông all right, thank you. Thank you for that rather comprehensive answer. And my next question is, uh, after you arrived at the scene, uh, were you put in charge or did you yourself on your own or at someone's direction conduct an investigation? Đối với bạn này chấm riêng âm bài mấy thà này cửa xa bằng sâu hông nắng này quật đăng môn quật đăng môn nói bạn cầm mà pra bằng sâu hông bằng sâu hông quật vô đây này mà mà chuẩn nó bị nẹp bằng hông có đây khăn mốc khi em đây tục khăn cơ hội gặp đây tục khăn mốc đây mùi nghe chân ngày ta cũng mà pra chẳng có nằm khí nhất tao thằng ọt khăn nghe Kim dung 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 let me interrupt you here for a second. I'm asking once you went there and discovered that the professor had been killed, after that, did you, were you involved in the investigative process or was that carried out by someone else? That's all I want to know. ក្នុងរឿងហ្នឹងគឺថាតែតាមានប្រតិការហើយខ្ញុំចង់បញ្ជាក់ថាណែខាងលើក៏មានវិធានការស៊ើបអង្កេតតាចំណុចទីពីគឺទៅស៊ើបអង្កេតអំពីកាហាថាយូធាក្រុងយូធាក្រុងនឹងអានឹងស៊ើបអង្កេតពីស៊ើបអង្កេតទីបីណាក្នុ
ໃນກໍຖືການຈະຫມຸຍເປີສາສະວາຈານັ້ນຈຶ່ງມາກໍຖືການຈະຫມຸຍ <cười> นี่คือถ้าจําเพียนที่ 1 Thank you. I had a follow-up, but I think I'll skip it. Um, now, as the Vietnamese were approaching uh, Phnom Penh in January, uh, 1979, uh, uh, according to, to Philip Short, you indicated that Pol Pot uh, called you and assigned you the task of escorting Sihanouk and his family out of Phnom Penh. Is that what happened? Just a follow-up question. Was this a, a personal conversation that you had with Paul Pot? He asked for you and assigned you? Or was this assignment given to you by someone else on behalf of Paul Pot, if you recall? เนียมឲ្យ <coughs> ແລະដែលមកចំភៀសពីនឹងខ្ញុំបានប្រាប់ក្នុងนายខ្ញុំថ្ងៃថ្ងៃនោះខ្ញុំគិតថាខ្ញុំខ្ញុំ ตอสิพลน่ะยังไม่แตกខ្ញុំបានឆ្លើយឆ្លើយឆ្លើយឆ្លើយមួយគាត់គាត់ថាខ្ញុំថាខ្ញុំថាអត់មានបញ្ហា
toàn thêm một đòn đài tôi đòn cả này nóm đi một đòn lại lục toàn thêm một đòn chẳng bền tí bạn mấy nhầm bạch chạy anh chàng người ta còn này nào nhầm to đâu ta hỏi không nâng cứ thà bắt toa bắt nâng miền này ông dương sĩ có prap đài còn mà prap đài có thà ai chấm đẹp chân đài ông dương sĩ có chặt chân là ăn thèm là ăn tiền còn prap nhầm nhầm thà này có thà là nâng này chia mình đặt nằm này 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 cái này này cứ thà ai mua nhầm mua mua tiền hôm nay mình mang đến sầm đạch ao muôi nát cứ sầm đạch ao mà cầm quạt nâng phong hái sầm đạch bèn nọt bèn nọt phỏng tại chân của thầy do lan khao nâng sầm đạch ao lan khao muôi đó sầm đạch bèn nọt lan khao muôi đó thầy yu thiê diêm nâng có thầy yu thiê cà phê nâng do lan này xịp này khang mục muôi đó khang còi muôi đó ông yên thế đấy có chặt chay là ắt bạc nhầm chân tiệt thầy tao là tăng giúp nâng ấy chân tìm pin mong phẩm buồn giúp đó là bắt đầu bóng mong pram cả lạc bực Rừng nâng chân Thank you Now after the fall of Phnom Penh In 79 You were made a commander Shortly thereafter, is that correct? Thầy lúc trâu ban Chị chắc tăng Ôi thầy chị em mê đi chìa cả con tốt Tạ trầm trâu thế Uh, thank you, Mr. President. There, there certainly are some post-January uh, 1979 events that may be relevant to uh, case uh, 002-01, but I'm not sure that the witnesses uh, responsibilities or positions are, so perhaps Council has an offer of proof of the relevance of, of this area. Well, the relevance, Your Honor, is um, if we see, uh, for instance, from the last question, is Pol Pot himself that caused the gentleman, obviously a, a close uh, confidant and aid to Pol Pot to take care of this very sensitive issue. When Phnom Penh falls, he's then be he then becomes a, a commander. So he goes from guard to head of security and MFA to all these other sensitive uh, uh, tasks by Pol Pot to commander. It shows the importance of this individual and who he's closely associated with. And it's part of our theory of the case. That, uh, that Lúc lại còn ấy thì có lúc xua từ xa xí Lúc lại còn ấy xua vốn cho lại phòng Thì mình tùm đồn thì đứng Thì tục phê bởi lý ôi lúc stop thì nâng xa đây dùm tốt ra bò Xa bởi nhà đâm bây dương dùm rách Hold on, Mr. President, for one second. With all due respect, when there's an objection, I get to be heard. Now, you can call it whatever you wish, but I was asked to give an offer of proof as to the relevancy. I'm giving an offer of proof, and then I'm being challenged that I'm giving a closing argument. Perhaps we come from different legal traditions, but basically, I'm giving the reasons why this area of questioning is relevant. If you don't think it's relevant, then fine, but I have to give you the reasons why I'm asking the question. Without the reasons, you may not appreciate the relevancy of it. សក្តិយំទាស់នឹងសំអាងហេតុនៃសក្តិយំទាស់របស់ដំណាងថាជាព្រះញាធ្វើឡើងមានមូលដ្ឋានត្រឹមត្រូវសំណួរនេះពិត
1979 in January, were you not involved in the killing of large numbers of Cambodians for which you were severely criticized by Mr. Ng Sri and for which now you're using this as an opportunity to testify the way you are? That concludes my examination of the witness. However, before I sit down, I wish to bring to the trial chamber's attention that the interpreter here uh, of this witness, when he gave his second interview, and we find it that it would be highly appropriate to get an offer of proof of what exactly happened uh, on that second interview, how long it took, because there is a dispute as to whether it was two hours or 14 hours. And we think it goes to the credibility of the witness, and more importantly, since the, since the prosecution is asking by way of motion or from the bar table that also all other statements or a great number of statements come in without the witnesses appearing, we do think that this is a highly relevant matter, but specifically concerning the second interview because of the testimony from this witness, we ask him before the witness leaves so he can get an, have an opportunity to respond, we ask manner in which the summary end statement were taken and whether this individual was actually reading into, uh, into the tape recorder his answers. And we don't make this request lightly. Uh, first of all, I don't think uh, that any uh, anything that has emerged here uh, warrants uh, court personnel being brought in uh, to be questioned. And second, I think it's inappropriate for counsel to be publicly identifying uh, employees uh, of the staff uh, as potential witnesses uh, in a public forum like this. So, um, uh, that's our response at this time to uh, Mr. Carter's motion. The interpreter was present. Oui, je voudrais simplement ajouter, M. le Président, que mon confrère semble une fois de plus nier la valeur des procès-verbaux qui ont été établis par les juges d'instruction et par les personnes qui travaillent avec les juges d'instruction. Je rappelle que ce sont des pièces de procédure et qu'il y a depuis une ordonnance de clôture. Ce sont des preuves au dossier que mon confrère a eu la possibilité de contester pendant l'instruction. Et je trouve dommage que nous revenions encore sur cette question aujourd'hui. If I may briefly respond, it's impossible to address all these issues before the investigation because we don't know who the witnesses are. It would amount to us listening to all the tapes. This is a unique circumstance. This is the second instance that we have that we think some irregularities occurred. We're talking about a 14-minute tape. We're talking about a matter of five or ten minutes of taking testimony from the very uh, uh, individual who was present during this meeting. The witness has indicated that his memory, initially he indicated that his memory was not clear and wanted to listen to the tape. We, we do have a dilemma. We do think it's important. We find it very interesting that both the summary and the, and the tape, uh, the transcript, are virtually identical, and we submit would be identical uh, once you hear it in Khmer. And so we think that this is one way to look into this matter. We think it's very, very important. It goes to the integrity of the process that we're entitled to raise this issue because the gentleman's uh, credibility obviously is at stake, but also his memory. And he's indicated, and we're grateful, that he's not quite certain as to what exactly happened, for how long it happened, whether uh, documents were shown to him, and so on and so forth. So we do think that it would be useful for the trial proceedings. Thank you. And with that, Your Honors, I have no further questions.
tiếp bọn anh em nói ní thank you for time thank you so much nó còn nhận trang đào lục thiên đừng lục lục xây trái đẹp đào cả những chim đánh đào xạ xây rồi này xong Look, my car can't wait. Panya chung crowd, they look about low ban look like a man mini, they look ban pache haji panya tong khan, man mini panya tomadati, hai on the rest up no second day trying to buy low by mini, to no human group grunty, some look rip chum that no some now niche like a sa. Lily a saw, though it's a say and be Panyaha, that's not some Panyaha, that pet pawn and Panyaha, how in Nung Panyaha, saying Jet Luchi Panyaha, on Shabab, the pet pawn, Knonka, Dial Norm Oil Look, the first of now, Luchne, the May Control, Lur, some now about Look, how some look, look from that, some look in Net Nung, John Champ from that, no Tini, you and what. Tam thiên đại miền tây từ biển thiên tây khăn ông ở Tàu Cò, nâng cho bà cam của chi đại bẹ pón đầm bấy đầm nà ca của tà la ca nít chi tà la ca bị sầm mạnh trong tà la ca cam của chi đại trời bà bà chi mù lụt than cứ bị thiên tây khăn ông bị thiên nâng tịnh nít tệ bị thi tây khăn ông đã chạy đuổi hai hay nâng bẹ pón thiên tiết nó cứ ai mà bình mà thái mà đói Krom di tebi thi perumatuan Kamboja. Ayat ini dapat sam ramam samra hari angin mepakah samra. Mepai niti capi pi ni seter hoda mau bayi so macam jual bini dalam bentuk kejunaka samnaka. Ayat menteri rotabal dalam rule kelain samra dal sahih neng meti bi perksa hari neng ayat jengkot mok kan kelain dal terkai kam di bini neng William Mong Bay, xin chào. Xin chào anh Cao Chờ.